A blessed morning to everyone. It is really true that time flies. Despite that there is pandemic, we still manage to deliver a good education to our learners. Today is the day where our completers say goodbye from being a kindergarten and successfully accomplished. The Bulusan Elementary School welcomes you in our kindergarten moving up ceremony for the academic year 2020-2021 with the theme strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And now let us take a look to our young kindergarten completers. The Kindergarten Grace Completers The Kindergarten Piety Completers Ladies and gentlemen, our Kindergarten Completers for the academic year 2020-2021. Let's give them a big hand. And now let me introduce to you the faculty of Bulusan Elementary School for the academic year 2020-2021. Miss Michelle B. Manalo, class advisor of kindergarten, Grace and Piety. Mrs. Mary Lucy Fesway, class advisor of grade 1, Love. Mrs. Josephine I. Pineda, Class Advisor of Grade 1 Wisdom. Mrs. Maria Lisa D.C. Bordeos, Class Advisor of Grade 2 Kind. Mrs. Marita C. Manuel, Class Advisor of Grade 3 Courage. Miss Maria Laurina P. Santos, Class Advisor of Grade 3 Hope. Mrs. Jane Elaine Mika M. Aquino, Class Advisor of Grade 4 Charity. Miss Jenny May H. Pagsanghan, Class Advisor of Grade 5 Faith. Mrs. Diana R. Julian, Class Advisor of Grade 5 Trust. Mrs. Maria Concepcion RTB, Class Advisor of Grade 6 Humility. Mrs. Norita B. Kindara, Class Advisor of Grade 6 Prudence. And last but definitely not the least, Mr. Leonilo M. Pasqual, Head Teacher 3. And now to begin with, let us sing our national anthem, followed by a prayer through virtual presentation. Lupang Hinirang, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
Dear God, thank you for the gift of education despite the difficulties of modular learning. Guide these learners as they celebrate the victory of their success in kindergarten moving up ceremony. May you bless them enough knowledge and wisdom as they go to the next chapter of their schooling. Amen. Let us hear the Dep Ed Region 3 and Dep Ed Bulacan hymn.
After a year of hard work and dedication, children, it is about time to reward your commitment towards education. At this point, let us witness the presentation of completers to be led by Mr. Leonilo M. Pasqual, Head Teacher 3, followed by the recommendation for confirmation to be led by our dear PSDS, Mr. Paul J. Candelaria, and the confirmation by our school's division superintendent, Senya G. Mostoles, EDD, CESO 5, to be represented by our ASDS, Rowena T. Kimbao, CESE. Isang mapagpala at mabiyayang araw po sa ating kagalang-galang na pangsanghay na tagapamanihala ng paaralan dito sa Division ng Bulacan, Dr. Senya G. Mastoles, CESO 5, na tinakatawan ni Ma'am Rowena T. Kiambao, CESE, ang ating pong School Assistant Division Superintendent sa ating pong tagapa, tagamasid pampurok dito sa distrito ng Hilagang Kalumpit, ginoong Paul J. Candelaria. Sa visa po ng kapangrihang ginawag sa akin ng Departamento ng Edukasyon ay malugod po pong inaharap sa inyo ang dalawang putsyam na batang lalaki at labing pitong batang babae na may kabuang bilang na apat na put-anim at sila po ay kasiyasin nilang natapos ang kurikulum sa kindergarten sa taong 2020-2021 dito sa paaralan ng Bulusan Elementary School. Dahil po dito, hinihingi ko po ang pagpapatibay na kanilang pagtatapos. Batay sa pagpapatunay ng inyong punong guro, nakasiyasyan niyong natupad ang mga pangangailangan sa kurikulum na itinakda ng kagawaran ng edukasyon para sa kindergarten, para sa taong pampaaralan 2020-2021, kung kaya magalang ko pong minumungkahi sa katuwang na tagapamanihala ng mga paaralan sa Bulacan na si Ginang Ruwena T. Kiambaw, Sese, na kumakatawan sa tagapamanihala ng mga paaralan sa Sangay ng Bulacan, Dr. Senya G. Mostoles, Seso 5, na pagtibayin ang kanilang moving up. With great pleasure, I give my biggest salute and congratulations to the graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. This year's theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic, highlights that despite all the challenges, the learners' rights to inclusive and quality education, as well as their right to safety from the health risks posed by the COVID-19 pandemic must be given priority. We have witnessed how this pandemic changed the course of education in the country. Today, we also observe how we have victoriously passed all the challenges brought by this pandemic time. It may be a trying time for the Department of Education, but it paved the way for a strengthened and intensifying academic year. Moreover, it calls attention to the role of quality education in helping Filipino learners achieve their full potential to fulfill their dreams and contribute meaningfully to nation building. You are blessed to have an alma mater with faculty members, non-academic staff and administration officials who collectively did their best to nurture your minds in preparation for the significant social roles and challenges that will come along your way. The edifying educational foundation that you have obtained from your institution now leads you to a crucial transition resulting to a better quality of life for each of you. As educated members of our society, you are equally expected to influence the lives of the members of the upcoming generations 
Therefore, you shall also become active participant in the social cycle of cultural transmission, which paves the way for a better society. Please bear in mind that as you move forward and upward, you do not forget to look back because where you come from and where you are now are inevitably the determinants of where you will be. My most immense regards to all parents and guardians for their more significant contributions to their children's academic endeavor during this pandemic. They assume the part-time role of educating their children in support their learning virtually and through modularized instruction. Thus, I appreciate more the importance of a strong home partnership built on trust. I would also like to recognize our stakeholders who never get tired of extending their full support in whatever project the school has to make. Your ever ready response to our heeds and requests is a manifestation of your kind heartedness emanating from your genuine love for civic and social services. Lastly, let us return all praises and thanks to our Almighty God for this journey of mercies and miracles. God bless you all. Again, congratulations. Sa pagpapatunay ng inyong punong guro na kasiyasiyan ninyong natapos ang mga kinakailangan sa kurikulum na itinakda ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, Sa taong pampaaralan, dalawang libo, dalawang pu, dalawang libo, dalawang putisa, at sa bisa ng kapangyarihang iginawad sa tagapamanihala ng mga paaralan sa Bulacan, Dr. Zenia G. Mostoles, Seso 5, na kinakatawan ng inyong lingkod, Rowena T. Giambao, Sese, katuwang na tagapamanihala ng mga paaralan sa Bulacan, ay pinagtitibay ko ang inyong pagtatapos. Maari na ninyong tanggapin ang inyong katibayan. Pagbati. And now to present the completers, allow me to call the advisor of Kinder Piety and Grace, Miss Michelle B. Manalo. It's my honor to present to you the Kindergarten Completers of Bulusan Elementary School for the Academic School Year 2020 to 2021. Kindergarten Grace Boys. Centeno Caden Lawrence de los Reyes, the son of Miss Centeno and Lorraine de los Reyes. De Jesus Michael Stephen Enriquez, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Michael Carpio de Jesus. Eugenio Adrian de Luna, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Arvin Eugenio. Fabella Calvin Yuan, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Manolito Fabella. Galang Sander Lopez, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Galang, Galicia Elijah Jean Hoson, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Isaac Galicia, Galman Eris George De Leon, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Eric Galman, Isidro Charles Jordan Cruz, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Isidro, Penus Klein Galvin Pagdamanan, the son of Mr. and Miss Arnulfo Penus, Reyes Red Pagdamanan, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Randolph Reyes, Reyes Rosairus Gautra, the son of Mr. and Miss Ramil Reyes, San Diego Earl Nathan Batalia, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Erickson San Diego, Torres Marion Andre Tubi, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jefferson Chow, Pistan Justin Carl Abasolo, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Junior Wistan, Martin Grace Girls. 
Aguilar Chanel Jane Roque, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romel Aguilar. Bautista Alina Grace Ada, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Albert Bautista. Kali Stephanie Cole Caparas, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Graciano Kali. Correa Rich Rian, the daughter of Robilyn Correa. Jose Bella Samantha Pang, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jeff. Jose. Jose Bianca Scarlett, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jeffy Jose. Ocampo Chloe May Gavino, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Ocampo. Semacho Chloe Angeli, the daughter of Miss Michelle Semacho. Viray Isel Audrey Valdez, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Vira. Kindergarten Fighting Boys. Malondo Dale Nathan Pagdamarin, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Dante Balondo. Caparas Mateo Torres, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Andy Caparas. Corpus Andrich Estrada, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Michael Perkus, Enriquez Kate Colin Valero, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Emiliano Enriquez, Fajardo Earl John, the son of Miss Jenny Fajardo, Fajardo Delayla Havar, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Gerardo Fajardo, Gabino Joaquin Gabriel Martin, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jean Mark Gabino, Mukal Riley Sebaluga, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Reynaldo Mukal, Nabong Alexander Zeus Pahati, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Gerald Nabong, Narciso Jed Oscar Hila, the son of Miss Arlene Narciso John Michael Salonga, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Edgar Narciso, Pahati Fritz Johan Lucero, the son of Mr. and Mrs. John Joseph Valentino Aldrich Brian. Let us hear and witness the messages of our fillers of education and some of our government officials.
Malugod na pagbati sa inyong matagumpay na pagtatapos ngayong taong panuruan, dalawang libo dalawang po, dalawang libo dalawang put isa. Ang bawat kabanata ng pagtatapos ng isang mag-aaral ay hudyat ng panibagong pakikipagsapalaran at umpisa ng mas malaking hamon sa tunay na laban ng buhay. Kakaiba man ang estilo ng pagtatapos sa taong ito. Virtual na seremonya dahil sa hamon ng COVID-19 pandemic. Ang mahalaga ay nabagtas ng mga mag-aaral, guro, magulang, at lahat ng opisyales ng kagawaran ng edukasyon ang bako-bakong daan dulot ng pandaigdigang pandemya. Hindi naging balakin ang pandemya ito sa pag-abot ng kalidad ng edukasyon ng bawat kabataan. Mahirap man ang pinagdaan ng proseso. Mula sa tradisyonal na face-to-face -face classes ay naging blended o distance learning ang sistema ng na naging pag-aaral sa bansa upang tiyakin ang kaligtasan ng mga mag-aaral. Pasasalamat sa ating mga magulang dahil sa pagsuong nila sa panganib ng COVID-19, sa pagkuha at pagsoli ng modules upang maitawid ang pag-aaral ng kanilang mga anak. Pasasalamat din sa ating mga guro sa pagpapanday at paghahasa ng kaalaman at kakayahan ng ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng modules at virtual approaches. Pasasalamat din sa kagawaran ng edukasyon sa pagpapadali ng kurikulum. Mula sa kurikulum guide ay pumili ng most essential learning competencies o MILKS na siyang ginamit na giya sa proseso ng pagkatuto at pag-aaral. Pasasalamat din sa inyo mga nagsipagtapos, sa inyong pagpupunyagi at sa pag-aaral upang kayo ay magiging instrumento sa paghahanda sa pagpapaunlad ng kinabukasan ng lipunang inyong ginagalawan. Higit sa lahat, pasasalamat din sa dakilang lumikha sa paggabay at pag-ingat sa ating lahat. Sapagkat ang bawat isa ay nagpamalas at nagpadama ng kabayanihan sa larangan ng edukasyon, ay naabot natin ang tunguhin ng DepEd na lalong pinatatak na kalidad ng edukasyon sa gitna ng pandemya. Muli, ang aking pagbate sa mga nagsipag tapos. Pagpalain tayong lahat ng buong may kapal. The school year 2020-2021 will forever be etched in the minds and hearts of every Filipino learner as the time when education took a drastic change. The classroom suddenly was no longer the physical structure in the school, but the virtual platform on the internet or a learning space at home. Teaching did not include any more the chalk and the blackboard, but distance learning activities like online classes, radio and TV-based instruction, and self-learning modules. And yes, the teacher was not only limited to sir and madam, but it also meant the learner's parents and guardians at home. COVID-19 has definitely changed the landscape of the teaching and learning process. Yet, with our collective resolve and resiliency, which is uniquely Filipino, we vowed not to let this pandemic stop us from making learning happen, from ensuring that our children get an education. Through the DepEd Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, we operationalized and concretized our vision and mission that our pursuit of quality education must continue despite the pandemic. My dear graduates, completers, and academic awardees of school year 2020-2021, you are the products of this unique period in our nation's education history when we were faced with a tremendous challenge in our learning delivery. Difficult as it may be, 
you still manage to survive and overcome the hurdles and obstacles owing to your adaptability and creativity. This alone makes you winners, game changers, and trail blazers. To our school leaders, teachers, parents, and other stakeholders who continue to brave the imminent danger posed by the COVID-19 virus to their health and their lives every day, just to make sure that our children do not stop from learning, you are the unsung heroes and frontliners of DepEd's mantra of Sulong Edukalidad. Our dear partners in education who have given immense support to our schools, we did not only push through with the school year. We made sure that our children receive quality learning in the face of these trying times. Strengthening the quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic is not simply about the use of various distance learning delivery modalities. It speaks about the essentials that you continuously embody, such as your generosity and dedication for education. To encapsulate it in one word, it speaks about our common goal to provide the learning opportunities for our children amidst these trying times. Many years and decades from now, our dear batch 2020-2021, when you will look back at this day of your graduation, completion ceremony or recognition day, you will most certainly remember it with the most unique memory. For one, your day will probably be recorded in perpetuity because it happened in a virtual ceremony. Please do not look at this as a scarcity, but rather as a living testimony of your ability to rise above any adversity. Congratulations, and may God continue to bless and guide you. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. 
mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. And you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent-teachers associations. 
you deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events, that are that make you curious especially in science in technology and also uh, in the arts so you can work you can go to further uh, studies and perhaps some of you will settle down uh, hopefully not too soon so you can pursue what you really want to do so today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. 
It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. In behalf of the municipal government of the I wish to extend our greetings to the graduates of this academic year 2020 to 2021. Congratulations, dear graduates. I know that this year was more challenging and stressful for you as you face the new mode of learning due to the pandemic COVID-19, wherein you were forced to finish your school activities on your own. Apart from that, you were forced to deal with fear and uncertainties brought by the pandemic that changed our way of life. But through it all, you were able to successfully meet your academic requirements. As you face the new chapter in your life and the so-called new normal, it is my prayer that you may utilize the lessons you learn in school and your experiences that the pandemic has taught you. May you strive to make this new normal to be a new and improved normal for you, your family, and your community. I also applaud the sacrifices of our dear parents, our beloved teachers, who unselfishly shared their knowledge and contributed in molding the students to be well-rounded individuals who certainly will be the future of our beloved town, Philippines. Again, congratulations, dear graduates. May you continue to strive to be more successful in life. God bless you abundantly. God bless, Kalupi.
Isang mapagpalang araw po sa kanilang lahat. Karangalan po ng inyong lingkod, Gobernador Daniel Ramirez Fernando, na patiin kayo sa natatanging araw ng pagtatapos ng ating mga mag-aaral na Bulakenyo sa taong pamparalan 2020 to 2021. Kasabay ng ating pagharap sa isang matinding krisis pangkalusugan dahil sa pandemya, patuloy na nagsikap ang ating mga mag-aaral na linangin ang kanilang mga kaalaman at kakayahan para sa katuparan ng kanilang mga pangarap. Alam ko po na hindi naging madali ang adjustment sa distance learning. Subalit, dahil sa ating pagkakaisa at pagpapahalaga sa edukasyon, narito tayo sa araw na ito na kilalanin ang pagpupunyagi at katatagan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Ang pagdiriwang na ito ay tanda po ng kanilang kahandaan na harapin ang mga bagong pagsubok sa kanilang buhay. Ang bawat nasangan po ay may dulo, subalit hindi ito nangangahulugan na tapos na ang paglalakbay. Bagkus panahon na para tahaki naman ang isang panibagong landas. Mga mahal kong magsisipagtapos, ipagdiwang nyo ang tagumpay na ito ng may pananabig sa mga susunod pang yugto ng inyong buhay. Bit-bit ang mga aral at karnasan mula sa inyong paralan. Lumakad kayo sa lansangan ng inyong pangarap. Pasalamatan niyo po ang mga taong kasama niyong nagsakripisyo at sumuporta sa inyong edukasyon. Sa ating mga magulang naman, well, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapagal para may ipantustos sa mga pangangailangan ng ating mga mag-aaral o ng inyong mga anak. Kulang ang salita para para parangalan ng inyong pagmamahal at siyempre sa lahat ng malasakit. Sa kabila ng matinding o matitinding hamon ay sinikap niyong itaguyod ang edukasyon ng inyong mga anak. Ang araw pong ito ay tagumpay ninyo, mga magulang. Binabati ko rin at pinasasalamatan, of course, ang ating mga guro ang pamunuan ng paralan at mga non-teaching personnel na gumabay at tumubog sa ating mga kabataan para maging mahusay, mabuti at mapanagutang mamayan ng ating lipunan. Sobrang saya po ang nararamdaman ko dahil alam ko po na ang mga kabataang bulakenyo ay mga maasang tagapagmana ng ating sambayanan mula sa mga magsisipagtapos. Ngayon, ay hihintayin ko ang mga susunod na mamumuno sa ating lalawigan at sa ating bansa. Sa pagtatapos po, ay nais kong mag-iwan ng tatlong mahalagang pangaral o paalala sa ating mga mag-aaral na magsisipagtapos mula na rin sa aking mga sariling karanasan. Una, una po, lagi niyong tandaan ha, at tatandaan na hindi kayo nag-iisa. Hindi magiging madali ang mga susunod ninyong paglalakbay, pero hindi ninyo dapat ito harapin ng mag-isa. Laging nariyan ang inyong mga magulang at mga kapamilya, ang inyong mga kaibigan, siyempre, at ang ibang mga mahal sa buhay para po pag-aanin ang inyong mga dalahin. Narito rin ang pamahalaang panglalawigan para maging sandigan po ninyo sa lahat ng mga hamon sa panahon o sa darating na panahon. Success is so much sweeter once it is shared with our loved ones. Yan po ang tandaan nyo. Napatunayan ko po ito ng paulit-ulit na sa aking buhay. Wala po ako ngayon. Okay, wala po ako ngayon kung kung hindi dahil sa mga taong sumuporta, nagtiwala at nagbigay sa akin ng lakas ng loob. Lagi kayong kumuha ng inspirasyon, lakas at patnubay sa mga tao, sa mga tao po sa inyong paligid. Pangalawa po, pangalawa, ang buhay po ay hindi isang karera. 
tandaan nyo po, walang deadline ng ating mga pangarap. Tayo po ay may kanya-kanyang tinatahak na kalsada. Darating ang mga sandali na tayo ay, well, madara pa at mapapagod. Pwede naman pong, well, pwede naman po tayo magpahinga. Pero hindi tayo dapat sumurender o sumuko. Ang ikatlo po at ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat ay ialay nyo ang lahat sa ating Panginoon Diyos o dakilang lumika. Ang lahat ng ating karunungan at kalakasan ay nagmumula po sa Kanya. Ibalik natin sa Kanya ang bawat tagumpay at kasiyahan sapagkat wala po tayong mararating kung wala siya sa ating buhay. Mga mahal kong bulakin nyo na magsisipagtapos. Well, congratulations po sa inyo lahat. Pagpalain ka at ingatan kayo ng poong may kapal. And now, let us watch and hear the graduation song of the completers, entitled, I'm Ready to Go. Let us hear the state of the school address of our school head, Mr. Leonilo M. Pascual. Isang mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat, mga kasamang guro, mga magulang, mga batang nagsipagtapos, at iba pang makakasama natin sa espesyal na araw na ito. Muli, isang mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Bilang Pangulong Guro, ng parlang elementarya ng bulusan, karangalan ko pong ipapatid sa inyo ang bunga ng ating pagsisigap at pagpupunyagi para sa lalong ikaunlad ng ating paaralan. Sa kasalukuyan po ang ating paaralan ay binubo ng labing isang guro, isang pangulong guro, at dalawang daan at walumpot pitong mag-aaral. 
upang higit na mapahusay at mapataas ang kalidad ng edukasyon ay katuwang po namin ang mga magulang, ang ating pong PTA, pinuno ng barangay at pamayanan at kinatawan ng kagawaran ng edukasyon. Sa gitna po ng pandemya ay hindi po tayo sumuko upang maihatid ang dikalidad na edukasyon sa ating mga anak. Hayaan niyo po akong basahin ang resulta ng performance indicator ng ating paaralan. Meron po tayong dropout rate na 0%, survival rate 100%, retention rate 100%, completion rate 100%, graduation rate 100%, participation rate 100%. At meron din po tayong teacher-pupil ratio, 1 is to 28. Saka tayo ang pampinansyal naman po. Ang ating pong paaralan ay may buwa ng maintenance and other operating expenses. Budget. Ito po yung tinatawag na MOOE. Mula po nung Enero hanggang sa kasalukuyan ay meron pong nakalaan na 24,000. 541 pesos and 67 centavos sa bawat buwan. Ang buwan ng budget po nito ay ginagamit natin pambayad sa kuryente, tubig sa ating pong utility worker, pambili ng mga gamit ng guro para sa pagpuproduce ng mga module na siya namang ipinamimigay at nagagamit ng ating mga mag-aaral dito sa ating paaralan. Nakatanggap din po tayo sa ating munisipyo ng isang printer. At sa kasalukuyan po, ay naaprobahan na ang proyektong pampataas ng ground, ng school ground. Ito po ay mula sa Special Education Fund ng Local School Board ng ating munisipyo. Sa tulong naman po ng ating samahan, ng mga magulang at guro, sa paunguna ng kanilang masipag na Pangulo, si Ginang Julian P. Cabuang, ay nakapagpatayo po sila ng school hand washing facility. Ito po ay matatagpuan sa may harapan o sa may gate ng ating paaralan. Uh, ito po ay magsisilbing hugasan ng, mga, ng kamay ng mga bisita na pupunta sa ating paralan. Ito po ay bilang tugon natin sa IATF Health Protocol. Sa ating pong punong barangay, ginagalang Danilo F. Marin, kasama ng kanyang mga kasamahan sa barangay at katuwang ng paaralan sa lahat ng programang inilulunsad nito, lalo na ukol sa kalinisan, Siguridad ng paaralan, maging po sa pagpapamahagi ng module, lalo na nung panahon ng ECQ. Muli, maraming salamat po, Kapitan Danilo F. Marin at sa kanyang mga kasamahan. At syempre po sa ating masipag na SK Chairman Nolimar Mata, kasama rin ang lahat ng bumubuo ng SK Federation ng Barangay Bulusan, taas po. O saludo po kami sa inyong dedikasyon na walang sawa niyong pagtulong sa mga mag-aaral sa ating barangay. Ang kanila pong budget ay binibili po nila ng mga gamit sa paaralan o gamit ng mga bata na magagamit sa pag-aaral. Nandiyan po yung band paper, ball pen, papel, at marami pa pong iba. Muli, SK Chairman, maraming salamat po. Ang lahat ay aming ginagawa para sa ikabubuti ng ating mga mag-aaral. Ngunit hindi po namin magagawa ito ng kami lang. Kaya nga po sa puntong ito ay aking ipinaabot ang aking taus-pusong pasasalamat sa lahat ng mga tumutulong at nakikisa sa lalong ikawunlad ng ating paaralan. 
Muli, maraming salamat po. God bless us all. God bless Bulusan Elementary School. To give us her words of gratitude, allow me to call the PTA President of Bulusan Elementary School, Mrs. Julian Kabuwang. Sa mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat, ako po kasama ng bumubuo ng PTA officers ay buong lubos na nagpapasalamat sa ating Panginoong Diyos dahil sa kabila ng sitwasyong ating kinaharap, gawa ng pandemyang COVID-19 ay naririto tayong lahat buhay at kumikilos kasama ng Bulusan Teaching Force sa pangunan ng ating butin principal, Mrs. Sir Leonilo Pascual, para sa mga gawain at proyektong tunay na kapakipakinabang lalo't higit sa ating mga anak. Ang handwashing area po at ang ground improvement ay tunay na pinagsikapan na matupad para sa ikaayos, ikagaganda at kalinisan, kaligtasan ng ating paaralan at ng ating mga anak. Lubos po akong umaasa na sa mga susunod na proyekto at mga gawain ay makakasama ko pa rin ang lahat ng kinauukulan. Walang sawang kikilos at puno ng inspirasyon para sa ating mga pangarap sa ating paaralan sa tulong at gabay na ating Panginoon. Ito po ay kung mahihirang po muli akong Pangulo ng ating paaralan. At sa lahat na nagsipagtapos, binabati ko po kayo. Ganyan din ang mga magulang na nagtsaga, nagsuporta sa kanilang mga anak. Alam na po natin na napakahirap ng pag-aaral ngayon, gawa ng modular. Subalit, ganun pa man, nakapagtapos tayo. ba? Diba? Binabati ko po kayo mga magulang. At sa diwa pong ito, ako po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat. God bless us all.